Hi everyone, Spider-Man 1991 here, and I am going to be doing an unboxing of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Starter Deck XYZ Symphony. Um, I mainly got this deck because uh, I am curious about the new XYZ monsters that that are out right now, and um, just figured I'd give it a shot. Um, also, uh, make it, I'm not really going to make a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! videos after this. I mean, maybe one other, because there are a few cards I'm looking to add for my... Uh, main deck, which I did a video on last fall, I think, last fall, um, but, uh, no, I am gonna probably make a few more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos, but just not a lot, um, if I get the opportunity, I pro probably will, it's more like an on-off basis for Yu-Gi-Oh!, but mostly I'm still gonna stick with comic reviews and stuff, this is just giving me a chance to sort of expand my video topics and stuff, anyways, let's get right to the deck, um, this is a new starter deck that was released uh, and to, for the new XYZ monsters as well as the new series Yu-Gi-Oh! Zaxxel. Haven't seen it, but uh, I don't really plan on seeing the anime so much. Okay, and here we go. Got that, and we've got our play mat right here where they set everything up. The feet. And we have our playmat, which has everything your monster and spell cards knows, and apparently also tells you the the main phases of your turn turn on here too. Okay, and uh, rule book, so uh, beginner's guide with beginner's guide for the game. Great. And now for the actual deck, and there's a, should be a little tab or something. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Yep, yeah, here we go. Okay. Oh. Yep, and here we are. Okay. First of all, these are our XYZ monsters. They're apparently black, and and apparently the stars on them don't mean a level. They actually mean ranks. And uh, one of the first ones they include here is number 39, Utopia, which I think is sort of the trademark card of... The protagonist in Zaxel Yuma. Uh, this card's ba I think this card is basically like the Dark Magician, Neos, and Stardust Dragon. And uh, we have four others. Uh, they all seem to be based off some off string quartet members, giving it sort of a theme here. Okay, and I know that the way I did hear that the way you summon these is you're supposed to have two monsters at the exact same level. Like, for example, Summon Utopia, you need two level 4 monsters, and you pretty much, like, sort of combine them and put them under the card, and you can summon it to the field. And these go in your extra deck along with your Synchro and Fusion monsters. So I do have some knowledge about the XYZ monsters, but I wanted to get a few just, uh, you know, in case I wanted to add some to my deck. Okay, now for the actual deck. We have Alexandrite Dragon with 2,000 attack, level 4. Nice. Uh, Spirit of the Harp. Frost, Frostosaurus, Zubaba Knight, Ganbara Knight, Go 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 Golem, Go 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 Giant, uh, Goblin, Goblin Glindberg, Feedback Warrior, Shine Knight, Ooh Cyber Dragon, nice. I have one. I have one of these. This is a very good card to add. Trident Warrior, Cheerion the Mage, Moran Captain. Penguin Soldier, Sangen, also probably one of my most used cards. My main deck, two Giant Rats, two Shining Angels, Blistering Wings, Ego Boost, XYZ Energy, Star Changer, Swords of Revealing Light, Mystical Space Typhoon, Fisher, Gravity Axe, Grarl, Reinforcement of the Army, Burden of the Mighty, Heartfelt Appeal, XYZ Effect, Rageki Break, Trap Hole, Dust Tornado, Magic Cylinder, Draining Shield. I know I use this one. And Call of the Haunted, Limit Reverse, and Seven Tools of the Bandit. Okay. Well, basically, it's a starter deck. This is just pretty much like a simple deck, including cards that pretty much every duelist should have in their deck, such as Mystical Space Typhoon and uh, Trap Hole, Rageki Break, something like Magic Cylinder, Draining Shield. You know, it's... It's not a bad deck for a beginner. I mean, I would definitely give this deck to a someone who's just starting out playing the game, and then they could sort of edit it later on with other custom monsters and 
that would probably give him give him a good way to start start playing this game. But uh, you know, this is a very nice deck. I think this is probably the first starter deck I've seen with duplicates of cards. I mean, I know structured decks usually have duplicates, but uh, I think this is the first one with like I've seen with the uh, two sh two cards of the two of the same card in them. Hmm. And well, uh, that's pretty much the XYZ Symphony deck. Um, it's not a bad deck. Uh, probably a good idea for starters and for anyone else who wants to get a start getting XYZ monsters, because because that's pretty much what the, the base of this deck is. So, yeah, um, that's all I have to say about this. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be making any more Yu-Gi-Oh videos for a while. They'll probably be on a you know, whenever I get the chance basis, I'll film it. Or whenever I get new cards, I'll probably open those up and talk about them in a mail time episode. But, uh, you yeah, that's probably it for Yu-Gi-Oh! for now. Um, Spider-Man 1991 saying, see you later, and have a nice day.